Another Beyblade. Yep, I found it. I found it. Found another Beyblade. Whew, finally. Let's do this thing, guys. Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's me here, Jay Pineapple, and I'm back again for another video, and this time, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Beyblade Burst Evolution Anubian A2. Oh my goodness, I actually found a Beyblade. I was so hyped. I, I tell you guys what, I've been trying to look for a new base, for new base for like months, alright? Australia is terrible with getting bays. Like, seriously, I haven't found wave two of the Switch Strike or wave three or, or anything like this. So, the fact that I even found this, and I found this at Coles, which is a grocery store here in Australia. So, like, I found this at the most obscene of places. Um, it wasn't special for $12, so I'm really happy I got it. Um, they're usually $19 here, but thankfully I did get it for $12 on special. And it's a new bay. It's a newbie in A2. So, this is actually the first um, release of Orbit for Hasbro, so I'm pretty hyped um, for to see what, like how that Orbit works, because I don't actually have a Takara Orbit either, but hopefully it's good. Anyway, here's basically the box. This is not a Switch Strike Bay, so it's just a regular starter pack, basically. So it says here, Beyblade Burst Evolution, you know, Ages 4 Plus, you know, it's cool. It has a picture of Anubian bursting uh, Doom Sizer D2. So that's cool. It says Anubian A2 and uh, D25 uh, TD05. So basically, Anubian, uh, I think it's Atlas Anubian Yell Orbit. So that's pretty cool. On the back of the packaging, you can see the energy layer, which is Atlas Anubian. Um, it is a right spinning bay. The disc is D25, aka Yell. And the driver is TD04. 05 aka Orbit. I am so hyped for Orbit. So, yep, uh, this is indeed a defense type, and here are all the stats there. Uh, I don't recommend going off Hasbro stats because half the time they're really inaccurate. Anyway, and uh, yeah, we will be revealing the code for this as well. Here's the barcode and legalese and all that stuff. So, without further ado, let's get to opening it. Will you take us away, knife? So, everything is out of the packaging at last. So let's just get this packaging all set up again for you guys so we can have an epic setup. All right, that's cool. Now we have a bunch of rubbish everywhere. We have like all these little rubber bands and stuff, but uh, yeah, really nice bay. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna do the first testings of everything. So uh, yeah, first of all, there's the QR code for Atlas and Nubium. So pause now. Don't say I didn't show you the QR code because I did. Ooh, see? There's the QR code. All right, there you go. So yeah, oh, it looks awesome. This looks like an awesome layer. Anyway, there's Yell and here is Orbit. All right, and that's kind of loose, but I'm not sure how it will necessarily perform, but it seems all right. So uh, yeah, pretty nice bay. Yep, spins pretty well. Radio, radio, resonant shift, there it is. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, uh, we'll just basically, we'll have a little play around with it, I guess, and then we'll get back to you guys when we do that, and we'll get into it in more detail and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, see you guys then. Okay, so, we have everything out of the packaging, guys. Uh, we've had a little bit of a play around with this, and I've got to say, it's a cool bay. I really do like this bay, you know. I think Hasbro did a good job on this bay. Um, I'm really, really happy that they actually decided to release Orbit on this bay. I'm really happy that Hasbro finally decided to do that. Um, let me just get out um, the bay that's supposed to have Orbit, so I'll be right back, guys. So the bay that was actually supposed to have Orbit was Wild Wyvern, believe it or not. And this is the Wild Wyvern, you know, um, but they did just put Massive on it instead. But they were actually supposed to put Orbit on the bay. So it, it should have. This is what the bay should have been. It should have been Wild Wyvern, Vertical Orbit, you know, that's the um, combo that's what they're supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be Wild Wild on Vertical Orbit, but they decided to put Massive on it instead, so, you know, that it kind of sucked because of that, but, you know, I'm really happy that they finally decided to release Orbit on Atlas Nubian right here, so, first of all, 
Here is Atlas Nubian compared to the Karatomi version. I don't actually have it physically, so here's an online image, you know. I think it looks pretty good, you know. I think they really did replicate this very well. Um, I like all the lines and everything. I think it looks really nice, you know. I think that's the good thing about this Hasbro one is that the, it doesn't, you don't have to put all these really weird blue stickers all around there. You know, I think those are supposed to be on the Karatomi and they're all each individual stickers and I Gosh, it would have been a pain to put it on. You know, so I'm really happy that Hasbro went out and went all decals with this. You know, and then of course you have the A's right here. You know, A, A, and of course the big A in the middle. And I really like the way that this layer looks. The disc is yellow. It is the exact same as the Takaratomi one. You know, it is really nice. Um, I'm not sure how good this is competitively, but... You know, I think it is actually a really interesting disc, and I like the I like the overall design. It's more like you know a star type shape, like a ninja star. You know, you know, it looks pretty cool. And I think this would be good for stamina and defense primarily. But um, then again, you know, I think uh, was it Leo Burst that had a good attack type with springing on this one? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, Yell is an interesting looking disc. It has all these wires and stuff. You know, it looks like a star, so that's cool. And then of course Orbit, as I showed you before, it has this little ball in the middle and it just like sort of spins and stuff. It's awesome. It's basically the um, first, it's basically a bit like Atomic, except it's not as big as Atomic, but you know, it's still really good though. And this is what should have came on Wild Wild Run. They should have released this a lot earlier. Um, but they chose to release it with um, Atlas Nubium, which is okay. I'm, I'm happy that Hasbro is at least giving us drivers that they should have given us in the first place. I'm happy that they actually went out and did this for us and gave us a, an Orbit driver. So I'm really happy. We're going to get into actually testing this bay now. Um, of course, it does come with uh, this crappy, you know. I mean, it's okay, you know. If this is your if this is your only launcher, I don't think it's a bad launcher, you know. I think it's okay. It's just really, it's not good compared to the car launchers. And it's of course going around here. So yeah, it's spinning and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's just you know. I think this is really cheap, you know. I think the best launcher that Hasbro has done. Uh, would have to be either the dual threat launcher or the um, string launcher that came with Excalius um, in the master kit. But I gotta say, even even the dual threat launcher isn't really that good because of the left spin. It's kind of annoying, you know. The left spin doesn't really work. So uh, yeah, if, if I were to uh, tell you to what launcher is probably the best overall, I'd have to say the Switch Strike launchers, like the Switch Strike record launch, is probably the best. Hasbro launch they've done. So, uh, yeah, back onto Atlas Nubian. We're going to get into and actually do the test launch of this bay now. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's just go straight to the stadium, guys. Woo! All right, guys, the time has come. Atlas Nubian test launch time. Let's go right into it. Let's get him on our launcher. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let it rip. And there it is, guys, Atlas Nubian. In the stadium, finally, a Hasbro Orbit. Wow, that's awesome. I love it. I love it. It's a really cool, it's more of a defensive type bay. Um, honestly, I consider Atlas and Nubia more of a stamina type layer, but of course, you know, Orbit is a defense type uh, tip, so I'm really happy with this bay, honestly. I think it's actually a really good buy. In all honesty, I think it's good. So, um, yeah, time to stop it. And we're going to do a bit of a, <laughs> we're going to do a bit of a uh, test battle, all right? So, let's do a bit of a test battle right here, so let's just grab, why not? Alright, so we're going to do a test battle between Atlas Nubian, you know, Atlas Nubian, Yell Orbit, and, Gen and uh, no, not Genesis, Victory Valtriac um, Boost Variable, which is actually a flattened variable from Hasbro, so, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. And go on the other side. Oh, this is cringe. I'm not even going to edit this out, that's a funny thing. <laughs> Alright, let's get right into it, guys. Alright, three, two, one, go. Shh. I have this Nubian. And there you go. So, right into it. Whoa, a double burst. <laughs> that's what it's like. So, it's out of three, guys. Burst count is two. Double burst, that's a draw. So, you know, um, yeah. So, it's still zero all. <laughs> Alright, come on. That's Nubian. And. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, Genesis Valtry doesn't really have 
I'm sorry, Victory Valve Trick. Wow, burst. Okay, 2 0. Um, but yeah, Victory Valve Trick doesn't really have much um, stamina. So, yeah. Uh, barely a slide for Atlas and Nubians. So 2 0 is the score. Uh, come on, Victory Valve Trick. Oh, nice. Nice hit by Victory Valve Trick right there. Nice. Alright, so 2 to 1 is the score, I believe. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Oh, okay. So the final round ends up being a burst finish, making it 4 to 1, I believe. So Atlas and Nubian is the winner of that test battle. But, um, yeah, we're going to do another test battle, guys. So let's give it up for... Here we go. Raging Rock Devore. Yep. Raging Rock Devore, Gravity Revolve. Uh, versus Atlas Nubian Yell Orbit. So let's get right into it. Alright. Atlas Nubian. And whoa! Whoa! Yo! First finish! Okay. Alright, I was not expecting that. So um, that is actually uh, Rock Divorce Point. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So I guess we can launch Rock Divorce first. Alright. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we get another battle in here. Alright, small hits this time. Oh. Alright, not sure who's gonna win in terms of stamina. Whoa, another burst! Are you kidding me? Wow, that was awesome, right? Atlas and Nubian won that round with a burst finish, so it's 2-2. Two two. This is gonna be the tiebreaker round, so let's get right into it, guys. Boom! And boom! Whoa, big hit! At the beginning, another big hit. Now it's just small hits. Not sure if anyone's gonna burst. I assume someone, one of these bays will burst but I'm not sure which one will do so. Maybe it will be a stamina battle, maybe it could be a knockout. We don't know, that's what I love about Beyblade. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who's gonna win? No! Ah, it's Atlas and Nubian. Okay, so Atlas and Nubian wins this battle again, just barely making it, uh, I think it was three to two, so that was really close. Rock Devil was its best opponent so far. Okay. Uh, all right, let's put it up against Dark Doom Sizer. So Dark Doom Sizer, Force Jaggy versus Atlas Nubian Yell Orbit. And I think we might do one more battle after this. I think you guys might know what that will be, but anyway, let's get right into it. All right, Atlas Nubian and... Whoa! That was a double burst. Everything went everywhere, so I'm gonna go grab everything now. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a double burst. So yeah, very, very interesting battle going on here. <laughs> okay, come on, let's put these back together. This is gonna be so cringe. All right, <laughs> let's go. All right, round two. Whoa! All right, let's go, Dark Doom Sasa. Whoa, nice barrage attack. Oh no, not sure if it's gonna be enough. Now, not enough, not enough for Atlas and Nubian. I'm sitting that down again. All right, come on. Oh. This is insane. Ah, oh, and a burst to Dark Doom Sizer. So that's the thing about Hasbro's Dark Doom Sizer. The slopes are not that good on Dark Doom Sizer, but it is still a good stamina layer. But yeah. Wow, that was close to bursting too. So you can tell that these two bays are pretty even. So anyway, uh, two to nothing is the score. Out the Nubian's way, so. See how this will turn out. That was a, that was a, uh, yeah, that was a fail. <laughs> Let's just go all the way over here, grab that. Oof. Alright, come on. <laughs> Alright, all right, so this is probably the final round. Whoa, big hit. Well, that was a big hit, I heard that. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I knew it first. Okay, so Atlas and Nubian ends up winning the battle with a score of 4 to nothing. so. Absolutely destroyed, destroyed Dark Doom Sizer. So, as a final battle, we're gonna do it up, all right? Atlas and Nubian Yell Orbit, all right? Going up against Wild Wyvron, Vertical 
massive, which it should be orbit, but it's massive, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into it. Barbara on, and so here we go. I'm pretty excited. I don't know who's gonna win. I think they're both on par. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. A double burst. I'm actually really happy with this. I'm really, I'm really interested in this. I like this. Double burst right off the bat. That's hype right there. All right, I'm just pin them back together. <laughs> okay, let's go. Anubian. Wyvern. Wyvern is just staying in the middle. Probably the best idea to do that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, contact has been made. Oh, big hit to Anubian. Wyvron's just doing a bit of a barrage, okay. Nice burst. All right, so Wyvron is in front now. That's interesting. Two to nothing. Two to nothing, Wyvron. All right, will Wyvron be able to beat Atlas Anubian? Who knows, who knows? Oh, whoa. <laughs> I'm not sure he's gonna win. I think Wyvron's got this in the bag. <laughs> Come on. I believe in you, Atlas and Nubian. You can do it. Oh, no. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it, you know. Um, it only lost to Wild Wyvron, so interesting. All right, so there you go, guys. Honestly, if I had to basically give my overall thoughts on the bay, I think Hasbro did a great job with this bay. You know, I think it looks great. It actually performs pretty well. Um, at least in my testings, I think that this bay is a, it's a good bay, you know, and I'm really happy that they released Orbit. I did try it out on some combos, so like um, Dark Death Cypher Heavy Orbit, that is a really good combo even for Hasbro, so, you know, it's actually a really good slope, believe me, um, with Dark Doom Cypher Heavy in Orbit, so give it a try if you have, if you have this Atlas Anubian, um, put Heavy Orbit on the Hasbro Dark Doom size, and believe me, you will not regret it. So, uh, yeah, overall, I think this is a really good bay. It is pretty accurate to Takara Tomy, so I'm gonna have to give this bay an eight out of 10. Actually, you know what, I'm giving it a nine out of 10. It's a really, really good bay. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That's my review on Atlas and Nubian. Please, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, and make sure to subscribe down below, and comment your thoughts on this bay as well. And until next time, guys, it's Joe Parnacle signing out. Peace.